Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to work with React. We will fetch the data from an API and then render those data. In the last video, I have shown how to create an API and how to deploy it on Heroku. So if you haven't checked that video yet, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you'll find that video. And this video link will also pop up in the top right corner of this video. Well, as you all know that I have created an API, we are going to use that API today. And I will leave the link of this API down in the description below as well. So let's see how the API looks like and let's see what data we are going to render today. So as you can see, this is the API that I've created and it's live. It consists of the players and the positions of the players. It also consists of the name, the image, the jersey number, the country where they belong, the date when they joined and the position where they play. So this is the API that we are going to use and we're going to fetch data from here and render. So after rendering, the data will look something like this. As you can see that this is the image. We are using the image, the name of the player, the jersey number and the country. So we are taking the data only from these four things. So let's get started. And before we start, I would like to ask you that if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified immediately. So let's create a project first. We will be creating a React project. So we will type npx create React app. It will take some time. So once the app is created, we will move on. OK, so the React application has been created. We have entered the directory and then let's open the IDE where we are going to code. Okay, so we have VS Code opened. Alright. So let's go to the app.js and we are going to delete some of these. And for now let's print hello world and see if this works. So we open up a terminal and type npm start okay you can see that hello world is being printed so our app is working fine all right so we are back now we are going to delete some of the unnecessary files so we will delete this 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 and this and we will go to index.js remove this line and these lines okay we'll save it and we will also from the app.js we will remove this we'll save it all right now the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a component so we will create a component directory from in the source and inside the component folder we're going to create a file which is called fetch data .js so first of all we need to import react support default plus Fetch data extent react dot component. First of all, we need to define state and what we have in state are loading. We're going to use async await. So during the waiting time, the loading will be displayed. So first of all, the loading will be true. And we will have another and we'll be having a list of pairs. So we will mention it like this. Now let's write the async function component did mount. Here let's define the URL first, so let's copy it and paste it. Okay. Now let's get the response. Wait. Pitch URL. 
then we will get the data from response.json. Now we are going to do something different. This is not something you usually see, but for this purpose, or for the API that we are using, we need to do this. So we will write const players. Remember list there's dot splice zero comma four map item item dot members dot flat okay that's equals to data all right so this is the member list that we are creating. That means we have data separated, but in the member list, we will have a, a list of all the player details. We will pass this member list to the state. So for this, we will do is this dot set state player, it will be member list. And once this is loaded, so we will make the loading false. All right. Now let's have our render function. So first of all, we will check for the loading. If this dot state dot loading, then we will return a div where it will be written loading. Okay, and we will also check the length of the player area of the player list from the state so if this dot state dot layer length this will be not actually if not this dot state dot layer dot length if this is the case then we will write no player data available now from this render we are going to return let's create a div a parent div first and inside we will have a header which will show Manchester United their details then we will write this is where we pass dot player and inside this player we have the member list that we created a few moments back map we will have item and key return div key equals the key that we have all right first of all we will display the image so for that what we need to do is https colon slash slash plus the item dot image and we will also just do some CSS here that is we will set the width to 250 and in case of image we need to have an alt where we will just pass the item dot name okay there we go we have the image now we want a bold text and inside this we want the name of the player so item dot name then we will also have a line break the next thing is we will have jersey number and here we will pass item 
Dot Jersey and another line break. The next thing we will be passing is the country. So item dot country. Another line break here. After this, we want to space, so another line break. Well, I'm not doing any of the CSS, but just with this, I'm going to show how it looks like. So this is one thing. We can also show the player position, so we will have another bold. And we will type position. So we will render item dot. position okay we'll just save this all right then now let's get back to app.js we will just remove this we will import react and component and we are going to import edge data all right now we will create a class app. Extends component. And inside that we will render return div class name equals app. And inside that we will have fetch data. Let's save it. So let's check that if everything is all right. Well, okay, we we need to if await here as well in case of the response. Okay, we need line breaks here. I'll just copy this and paste it here as well save it let's open up a terminal now and let's start the server and see what we get well there you go this is what we were expecting so as you saw already that Manchester United details then the player image the name of the player the position where he plays the jersey number the country where he belongs David De Gea Lee Grant, Tom Hitton, Dean Henderson, Victor Lindelof, Eric Bailly, Phil Jones, Harry Maguire, Rafael Baran. He's a new signing, by the way. And so on. And I, I won't make it longer. So basically, that's what we were supposed to do. We fetched the data from the API, which is here. And this is the API that I've created. I'll leave the link of this API down in the description below. And then we have extracted this data and we created a list of for ourselves which is member list and then we have rendered the data from member list because we have set the state in in state for the player we have rendered this member list to player and this player from this player we are getting what we need so basically that's it for the video i hope this this was useful and you have enjoyed it so please leave a thumbs up if you did and try it so that you may understand how to how these things work and if you haven't already i would like to request you to please subscribe to this youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified immediately and i'll also leave some links so namely the link of the api down in the description below the previous video where i've created the api and deployed it on heroku that video link down in the description below and also it will pop up at the beginning of the video and i will leave the source code of this application in the description of the video as well so i will see you in the next video till then goodbye